That's how Peter Fretwell from the British Antarctic Survey made a surprising discovery. He was using satellite images to map the Antarctic coastline when he spotted something unusual. We were mapping Antarctic, mapping the coastline for our pilots who need specific information on their maps. This is a satellite image of Antarctica and we can see here the coastline, this is the sea. In between the coastline and the sea, these white areas are sea ice and there's some strange brown stains on it and we weren't sure what these brown stains were. The sea ice, which is frozen seawater, should be pristine, it should be pure white. When we zoomed in with the satellite imagery, it started to resolve itself as to what these were. We had brown areas and strange black areas as well there. And I put two and two together and realised that what we were looking here with the satellites wasn't just brown stones on the ice, it was actually penguins. The brown area is the guano, the stain that they leave on the ice from their droppings and their poo over the eight months or so that they inhabit this area. Peter had discovered an emperor penguin colony from space. At well over one metre, emperors are the tallest penguins on Earth. They live in large colonies and thrive in freezing conditions. And they breed in the middle of the harsh Antarctic winter, using frozen seawater as their breeding platform. But Peter's most recent satellite images show something unexpected. We found this colony, one where the penguins weren't on the sea ice. In this case, they were actually on an iceberg. Here we can see a satellite image with a number of icebergs, and one of them is almost totally covered in brown stain, guano, the, the penguin poop. It seems that there wasn't enough sea ice for the emperor penguins at the beginning of their breeding season. Early in the season here, the sea ice hasn't formed when the emperors have turned up at their breeding location. So the emperors have been left with nowhere to go. But in this case, they've moved up onto the iceberg to give them somewhere to do their courtship and their mating and their breeding. Peter has since observed emperors on icebergs in other locations. And it's something that's likely to become even more common as the climate changes. We've lost huge amounts of sea ice in the Arctic as, as, as the climate's warmed. And all of the predictions and the models suggest that Antarctica will go the same way and that we could lose lots of sea ice in Antarctica, which will be terrible for the emperor penguins. But having this adaptation to be able to move onto icebergs or in some cases up onto the ice shelf will be critically important to be able to save some of those emperor penguin colonies from extinction. Climate change isn't just having an effect on sea ice. It's also affecting the world's glaciers that are pumping out more icebergs than ever before. To find out why this is happening, you need to go dangerously close to the glacier front. It's all in a day's work for Alan Hubbard from Aberystwyth University. Could you go up front and just Tell me left or right, please. On board the research yacht Gambo, he's trying to map the front of Greenland's store glacier. Alan uses a powerful tool, side-scanning sonar. It reveals the hidden part of the glacier that's underwater. That's the actual equipment that sends out the sound wave, the acoustic wave, which bounces off the glacier and we pick it up. So we hopefully will be able to scan the whole face of the glacier and its toe. To get a detailed picture, Gambo needs to go right up to the ice front, just where the icebergs carve. 
We're 150 meters now. I would like to keep two or 300. Yeah, okay. How are we for bugs, Johannes? We have to go a bit starboard, I think. It's the first attempt by any research team to image the entire underwater ice front of a glacier as big as this. But just then, the giant glacier reminds them of the risks. 